Good morning. I'm over here in the edge of the parking lot by the privy. For one, the lighting's better. Um, it is 6.04 a.m. A little bit of an earlier start to get to Timberline today. We have about 10 miles to get there. I think 10, 10 and a half or so. And I know we're going to start off with a climb, then we go down, and then we got like a 2,500 foot climb after that. So it's going to be a good bit of climbing in this first 10 miles. And man, just like yesterday, we're in a cloud. This is very reminiscent of the AT. Everything is just damp. Even though we um, dry out the sleeping bags and everything during the day, um, it seemed like even when I got it back out yesterday evening to set up, everything just has a damp feeling. My clothes, everything's wet. But enough with that. We got lots of climbing to do and a big buffet to eat. And we are headed into the Mount Hood Wilderness. So last night we camped by that privy and by the parking lot. And this morning I didn't even need to use it. So that was a little disappointing. Um, five miles in, I looked to my left and I'm like, that looks like a parking lot right there. So I walked about 30 feet over, sure enough, a parking lot in a privy. <laughs> and it was perfect timing. I had just started looking for a spot. So um, yeah, things are working out today. This is very cool. It's almost scary on the edge of this thing. Yep. I thought we had to actually go all the way up there. We just topped this little crest. It looks like we're just going there. All right. Here it is. All right, this is the inside. The lower level is like the main lobby. I just came in here to hang out and charge electronics. I apparently bought pizza. Here it is from the front entrance. All right, just had a beer at that bar back there and it is now almost noon, so we're heading up to the buffet. It was $10 for a draft beer and I said, that's the most expensive beer I ever had in my life. Hollywood looked at me and said, nope, LA. And he is right. That's, I remember we spent $23 for a can of beer in LA. Yeah, this is, um, are they $3 a piece? The other? Yeah, it's just the same, but if you need snacks. So I ate, well, Hollywood and I ate at the buffet. Cece didn't go because they didn't have as many options for her. It was very marginal. It was okay. There was nothing special about it. It was by far not the best meal on trail. I didn't close. Probably the most expensive but not the best. I ate way too much. I was able to look into a shower here and I don't know, we had big hopes. Cece said we were doing another 15 miles when we left here today, but it's getting late in the afternoon and we haven't even talked about leaving yet. So I'm not sure what our afternoon looks like, but this is a beautiful spot. It is 4.45 and we are just not ready to go. It has been raining pretty hard for a little while. There's a break in the rain, but
but it's supposed to rain on and off for the next three days. So this is, I definitely have hiked in my rain jacket. I don't know if I have hiked my rain jacket and rain, and rain pants in months. Um, so we're suited up and we're gonna go out and see how far we can get tonight. I think we were talking about maybe 5.6 more miles, um, but I don't know. It's almost five o'clock, I'll wait and see how, how far we get. Right, we are finally on trail going here about five o'clock and the ski lifts are actually running. Here we are, about a half mile out of Timberline Lodge. That was a half mile. Like 0. 0.4 or something. <laughs> Maybe 0. 0.6. 2100. Chug us straight down there. And straight back out the other side. Wow. All right, a lot of these steeper parts of the trail are just slick mud. And I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty much a drop off right after. So gotta be a little careful. And it's been pretty slow going since we started these switchbacks down. Um, there'll be a good bit of dry trail for, or just damp and flat. And then we'll get a steep part that's like mud and rock, like little rocks in the mud. But anywho, I think we're trying to go a total of like, ooh, I slid. Um, trying to go a total of like 5.6 from Timberline. I think it'd be like 16 for the day. You know, some of these days that we've had shorter lately, it's like we went from, I don't know, we did like it, what, a 30 and 18, you know, a 25 and a half or whatever it was and now maybe a 16 we're still going to probably do the most miles we've done in any six day period uh by saturday be 150 miles um i don't know we've been close to that probably but as it's wearing down our time not wearing down winding down as our time on this trail is winding down it seems like it's more important to me to socialize with people and talk to people and we're all of a sudden around a lot of people that are kind of doing the same things um, like stopping and wanting to socialize I think this big group after trail days and the fires and all the different stuff that bunch people up a lot of people have been bouncing so much I think a lot of people have not made a whole lot of connections just like the few people they've been hiking around and it's like we've been having reunions of sorts and then this morning on the way into Timberline, I walked the last, I don't know, mile and a half, two miles, a little while, with Blue. And it's so crazy that I summited the AT with her. And we, like, we knew each other, but we weren't in contact or anything. So I didn't even know she was on the PCT until a few weeks ago. Um, I mentioned this morning to her that I was really thinking we could easily summon on the 12th, the same day that I summited and she summited the AT until they reopened the section of the trail. And now it would be really tough. And she's like, I know, that's what I wanted to do. And coincidentally, she also finished the Wonderland Trail last year on September the 12th. So for her, it would have been three years, three trails all finished on the same day, which would have been really cool. The problem for me being numbers, got a lot of numbers in my head. I'm a numbers person. And if I would have finished the AT and the PCT both on September 12th, then I would have automatically felt like I had to finish any other big hikes in the future on the same day. So it's probably better that it's not going to work out that way. But I don't know. I've just been having a lot more fun 
lately than I had most of this trail and enjoying myself more. And my gosh, this is gorgeous. Let me turn this camera around. Ah, there's too many clouds. You can't see Mount Hood up there. All right, I made a very big precarious jump. I landed it with the front foot and the toe of my back foot just scooped water as it cleared. As I'm on the other side, there's a big waterfall this way. So I'm gonna show you that and then we're gonna see, Cece found a log. Once I was up on this side, up the hill, I could see a log down here. So she's gonna try to cross it. No. That waterfall is way taller than it looks in this camera. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me because of this rain, but it rained pretty dang hard the last couple miles to where we were going to camp. I got here. There were already some other tents in the best spot. I've got a not great spot, but it'll do. I was saving some spots for, I didn't take the good ones. Um, so CC and Hollywood can squeeze their tents in over there, hopefully. So they have not got here yet, but she was only a few minutes behind me a couple miles ago. Actually, I was with her at that crossing maybe two, two and a half, three miles ago. So I don't know if they stopped somewhere under a, in some pines or where the rain was less or what. Or maybe they've come by me since I've been here and just can't hear them because it's so loud in here. So I thought I'd tell you how to deal with being soaking wet, putting up your tent and keeping things dry. Especially, it's like... I don't know, 50-ish degrees maybe. So I was soaked. I had full rain gear on. I hurried up and put my tent up, trying to keep my pack closed and everything dry. Once I got it up, I just shook the pack off, put it in, got in the tent. I got out on my bandana, and then I have a light load towel. Both were The light load towel was completely dry. The bandana was mostly dry. So I just dried off any water that got inside my tent. I used the bandana to dry my rain gear off and I hung my rain jacket on this trekking pole strap and my rain pants on the other trekking pole strap outside of the tent. Um, then I laid my foam, 1 8 foam pad down and I used my light load towel to make sure everything was dry before I started getting everything else out. Also I should add, I changed clothes, I put on dry stuff, so I have on dry socks, pants, my t-shirt and my puffy um, so I'm in here everything's dry everything's you know damp from the humidity slightly but I'm dry and safe and comfortable um, it is I don't even know 7 30 it's at least an hour before dark uh, maybe only an hour because of the uh, it'll get darker later with this it's been thundering and lightning some but um, I'm, I'm good to go so since I have nothing else to do I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here tell you all good night and that way I can go ahead and get this video edited. So, good night. See you tomorrow. We're going to have to do a big day tomorrow. And it's supposed to rain a good bit of the day. So.